Hey guys, and happy Thursday. It is Thursday, July 2nd. Uh, and so usually what I try to do is check in at least once a week, midweek, to see how we're doing. Uh, this is the first week, so things are relatively um, calm so far. Um, we don't have too much to do this week. You're working on a discussion board assignment, and then you're working on your quiz. And let me just double check to make sure. Uh, yep, that's it. And then you have some reading to do uh, this week as well. So um, as a reminder, today is Thursday. So our initial posts are due by the end of the day today. So if you haven't had time to um, respond to that thread uh, discussion this week, make sure you do that by the end of the day. Um, and this week you're looking at a couple different things. You're um, sort of doing... Um, some exploring in the SNHU web sites. You're looking at uh, the career page and the mentor page so you can get an idea as to um, the different careers that are out there in the criminal justice field as well as maybe help you um, sort of identify um, somebody within the SS SNHU family that has uh, experience in the field that you're interested in. So. Uh, we have a lot of great faculty members here. Uh, I think you'll be surprised um, at the level of expertise that um, is at your fingertips. So um, when you get to that point where you're ready to make that decision as to which career path you want to follow, go back and revisit that and then connect with one of those faculty members. I think they'll uh, offer you some great ideas and tips on what's going on in the field and things that you might need to know, especially if you're looking at the federal state level because um, there's so many options available and locations and, and things like that. Okay, so that's your first thing you do is the initial thread. Um, then you have your, you, your check your knowledge. So every week there's a check your knowledge quiz. It's not very long. Uh, it's really designed to help you figure out what areas uh, of our study for that week that you might already have some knowledge about. So that way you can devote times um, to those segments of the textbook or our topics where you may not be overly familiar. So it's really designed as sort of a time management. So it gives you an idea as to how best uh, to spend your time because I know your time is valuable and we got a lot going on uh, in your life and we got a lot going on in what's going on with COVID-19 and an array of other things taking place. So um, hopefully this will help you get a sense for where you need to focus uh, more of your energy for that week. And then you have your quizzes, our chapter quizzes. Uh, now the key thing about this is that you have two options, uh, not two options, you have two uh, attempts at each quiz. So uh, you take the quiz once and then you can take it again if you want. Um, I advocate that you take it again. I think it's important. Um, that you do the very best you can, and then um, hopefully you'll even learn more about um, the reasoning behind some of the questions and the answers and so forth. So please take advantage of that opportunity. Uh, I will, uh, in my feedback to you, I, I will often let you know if, uh, hey, don't forget you can take the quiz two times in, in, in the week. So you have two attempts. Uh, so make sure you take advantage of that. Um, and then, of course, this Saturday is the 4th of July, so uh, wish everyone a safe and, and happy 4th of July. Um, it's interesting because many of the concepts associated uh, with the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and uh, the founding of our country uh, are still very applicable today. And we're exploring those uh, this week in my short module lecture. So we're looking at the Fourth Amendment and, and to some, some extent, the Fifth and Sixth Amendment and the Eighth Amendment. Um, so it's really important that um, you realize how these amendments have withstood the, the test of time. Uh, and they're still very applicable today, uh, obviously, as um, the nation has progressed and technology has increased and an array of other things, uh, the principles, the guiding principles of the Bill of Rights are still very applicable. So anyhow, enjoy your 4th of July, stay safe. Um, Seems to be a rise in COVID-19 cases, which shouldn't be too much of a surprise to anyone that seems to begin to open up. But again, uh, stay safe and, and follow uh, your local guidelines in terms of uh, masks and social distancing and so forth. Uh, 
I think that's it. Have a great week. If you ever need me for anything, do not hesitate to reach out. You, you know how to get a hold of me. You have my phone number, and then you also have my email address. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in Brightspace. Have a great weekend. Bye.